Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Daniela and today I'm going to show you how to make flat outcount peyote stitch and I will demonstrate it on this nice bracelet. Peyote is a great stitch for beginners because it's easy to follow and it's a great jumping off point to the more advanced stitches. Today I will show you odd count stitch that is a little bit more difficult than even count peyote stitch that I showed you in some of the previous tutorial. Many beaders prefer even count peyote because they are afraid of the turn at the end of the column, uh, but there is no need to worry, it's not that difficult. So let's take a look. First we prepare a bead mat, it's optional but it's easier to pick up seed beads from bead mat than from the table. Uh, next we need seed beads, I'm going to use this Toho Treasure seed beads uh, of size 11 in turquoise color. You can find the link in the description below. And we need also some bigger bead that will serve as a stub bead. I'm going to use this small glass pearl. It doesn't matter how it looks because at the end we remove it and it won't be part of our beadwork. Uh, next we need a thread. I'm going to use Naimo in blue color. Uh, next we need a beading needle and scissors. And finally a toggle clasp. You can find the list of all these products with links in the description below. First we cut a piece of thread, uh, cut about 2 meters, we can possibly add some extra thread later. If your thread will be too much long, it will be difficult to work with it, so we cut the thread and thread the needle. We put on our stub bead and bring it down. We leave a tail long enough, about 15 centimeters is okay. And then we go back through the bead to make a loop around the bead. Uh, this stub bead will help us to create tension and keep the rest of the beads we are adding from falling off the end uh, until we make few rows and the beadwork will set up itself. We will remove this bead when our beadwork will be finished. Then we pick up odd amount of seed beads. I'm gonna have my comb be 9 beads wide, but you can make yours as wide as you like. Just make sure it's an odd number. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These nine beads will create first two rows. It can be a little bit confusing at first, but I will explain it in a while. Now we bring it down to our stop bead. and we start to make the third row. The principle of peyote is easy. We always skip over one bead and go through the next bead. So we pick up one bead, skip over this bead and go through the next bead. You can see that the new bead is sitting right next to this one. The first three rows are always a little bit messy, so don't give up. Pick up another bead, skip over this bead and go through the next bead. And tight. And continue the same way. And now we are at the problematic point, because we have just one loose bead left and we need to add one more bead to finish this row. So we pick up one bead and we go back through this loose bead 
towards yourself and then go through two more beads on the diagonal. This turn is a little bit different from the rest of the turns that will follow because we go through two extra beads and from now on we will go through only one extra bead. You will see it in a while. Now we go back through these three beads, this, this and this. And we turn around and come back to secure this new bead. I always like to work from bottom up, so I just flipped over. So now we have three rows, the first, the second and the third. And now we are ready to make next row. Uh, next row is simple, it's just the same as even count peyote. We flip over and continue with the next row. Now we are at the end of the next row and we need to make another turn. So we pick up one bead and we go back through these two beads, back towards yourself. Remember that you only have to go through two beads instead of three this time. And then come back through these two beads on the diagonal. coming out one bead below the bead we just added. And now go through this new bead flip it and go straight in the next row. It's not that difficult, right? The next row is with simple turn again. So we flip over and continue with the next row. I will show it again. We pick up one seed bead and we go back through these two seed beads back towards yourself. And then come back through these 
two beads on the diagonal coming out one bead below the bead we just added. And now go through this new bead and flip it over. So we have the length we want to make a bracelet and now we remove the stub bead and weave the tails into our beadwork and add a toggle clasp. We pass through the beads and change direction several times so we secure the thread this way. And I don't want to use a new thread to attach clasp, I want to use this tail to attach my clasp. However, I have to remember if anything is going to break in bracelet, it's usually clasp or clasp attaching. Uh, and if I use this tail to attach the clasp, there is a risk uh, that if the clasp breaks, also a part of the bracelet itself can start coming apart and that it's harder to repair. But there is a way how to avoid this situation without adding a new thread. So I go through the beads towards the center of the last row. And now I go under the thread between the beads and make a knot. So if the clasp break, uh, the only thing you have to do is fix this clasp and you don't have to worry about the bracelet because we have this knot. Now we pick up four seed beads and go through the one part of the clasp. And then go back through this bead in the center. and repeat it several times to secure the toggle clasp. So we go through these beads again. Now we go under the thread between the beads and we make a knot. And again I pass through the beads, change direction several times. And finally cut the thread. Uh, now we do exactly the same with the other tail. So we thread the needle. And go back through the beads. And weave this tail in. Now we go through the beads towards the center of the first column. We go under the thread between the beads and make a knot. We pick up four seed beads, two, three and four. And then we go through the second part of the toggle clasp. And go back through this bead in the center. And now go back through all these beads to secure the clasp.
Now we go under the thread between the beads, make a knot, and go back through the beads again. Weave this tail in. And then cut the thread. And the bracelet is finished. Uh, in some of the next videos I will show you some other ways how to do the turn in outcome peony. Uh, but I think that this one is the very basic one, the essential one. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and see you next time. Bye!